Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for June 2nd. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed, without weakening in his faith. Romans 4, 18 and 19. I will never forget the statement which that great man of faith, George Mueller, once made to a gentleman who asked him the best way to have strong faith. The only way to know strong faith is to endure great trials. I have learned my faith by standing firm through severe testings. How true this is. You must trust when all else fails. Dear soul, you may scarcely realize the value of your present situation. If you are enduring great afflictions right now, you are at the source of the strongest faith. God will teach you during these dark hours to have the most powerful bond to his throne you could ever know, if you will only submit. Don't be afraid, just believe. Mark 5.36 But if you are ever afraid, simply look up and say, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56.3 Then you will be able to thank God for his school of sorrow that became, for you, the school of faith. A.B. Simpson Great faith must first endure great trials. God's greatest gifts come through great pain. Can we find anything of value in the spiritual or the natural realm that has come about without tremendous toil and tears? Has there ever been any great reform, any discovery benefiting humankind, or any soul-awakening revival without the diligence and the shedding of blood of those whose suffering were actually the pangs of its birth? For the temple of God to be built, David had to bear intense afflictions. And for the gospel of grace to be extricated from Jewish tradition, Paul's life had to be one long agony. Take heart, O weary burden one bowed down beneath your cross. Remember that your greatest gain may come through your greatest loss. Your life is nobler for a sacrifice and more divine. Acres of blooms are crushed to make a drop of perfume fine. Because of storms that lash the ocean's waves, the waters there keep purer than if the heavens overhead were always fair. The brightest banner of the sky floats not at noonday warm. The rainbow follows after thunderclouds and after storm. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.